Jason Lewis sat down with them this afternoon to get the full story. Pretty bizarre, Amy. Yeah, talk about a Goldilocks moment, but there was really nothing cute about it. It was a horrifying moment finding out that a stranger made themselves right at home in their living room while they unknowingly slept in their beds. I got a text this in the morning from my roommate uh, saying that somebody was sleeping or asked me if I had a friend that was sleeping behind the couch. Chloe Riggs did not, in fact, know this woman passed out cold behind the couch, using yoga mats as covers and sofa cushions as pillows. I said, like, you know, excuse me, and she didn't wake up. And at that point, I decided to call the cops because you just, you never know. Police woke the sleeping stranger who had no idea where she was and how she got there. This isn't my first encounter with Denver homeless, but it is my first encounter with somebody getting into my actual house. Riggs couldn't believe what just happened, realizing a roommate accidentally left a back door unlocked, letting the stranger in easy and alone in their home for several hours. At one point, I think it was around five in the morning. Our bathroom's here and my bedroom is here. And she opened my bedroom door, said sorry, and then like went into the bathroom. I thought, Maybe it was a roommate or something like that and proceeded to pee in her bathtub. Then she found her way to the kitchen, eating their food, even topped off several drinks before tucking herself in. Grabbed herself several drinks, a cider, LaCroix, some lemonade. Got real comfortable. <laughs> Thankful nothing too important was stolen and nobody was hurt. It's still a creepy, violating feeling they just can't seem to shake. Everything feels tainted. Everything feels not safe. So the roommates decided to not press charges, so police let her go free. They see this as a learning lesson, and they'll certainly never leave their door unlocked ever again. Live in Platte Park, Amy Lewis, Fox 31. Yeah, lesson learned a thousand percent.